Kirkland. No, Cook. Because he had given a substantial duration to the charter school and Pembroke College. After two years, he went to Pembroke College. By then, he was considered a prized student. And, uh, they it was paid him to go there. And between uh, 63 and 65, he was at Pembroke College. There are some people who say he graduated in 27. But actually, he might have actually left the school earlier because he didn't need it. And secondly, he also met a family. Um, there was a family in his area where it's in the Essex County. Is it a county or division? Okay. The Essex had the strongest, most powerful, richest Puritan separatists in England. They were led by a group called the Rich Barrington Hildersham Group. Rich was the richest one, Barrington wasn't too short, and then there was Hildersham. And they were fanatics about, not only, more about Puritanism, also about Puritanism, Reformism, which is a Puritan that would have changed the, uh, fixed the uh, English church. And then there's the separatists who did not want anything to do with the English church. The Barringtons alone housed and supported 17 ministers. Um, and Joan Barrington, the wife of Sir Francis Barrington was Oliver Cromwell's aunt, and he, she also arranged his marriage in 1621. So, everyone thinks Roger goes to work for them, her daughter, Elizabeth Masham, married to William Masham, and everyone says he went there in 29. Mm, some people say 27. I say 25. By 1625, the leader of the Pembroke College was a man named Jerome Beale, who was an Arianist. Anyone know Arianism believed that you couldn't be elect. You had to be pro-activity. You couldn't get to heaven just by being elect. Even though to be elect, you had to pretend you were elect, but act like you were elect. So I feel that because of the proximity and because of Cook's involvement, he was introduced to this incredibly wealthy, powerful group of people and that he became the domestic chaplain. The other reason he became a domestic chaplain was now he had learned Latin, Greek, French, Dutch, and Hebrew. And he probably could do stenography in them all. This man was brilliant. He was charismatic. He was uh, a man that everyone wanted to listen to and they fell in love with immediately. No one can understand how he got people to work and be with him has to do with a lot that he wrote in this book. So the Mashams have people who are in the parliament, both Sir Francis and Sir William work in the parliament. And then around 1626, the king wants money. He's closed down parliament and he wants a loan from all the rich people. So Francis and William don't pay the money. So in 1627, they both go to jail like in November of 26. They both get out a year later in 28. Four months later, Francis dies. And he is considered a saint in that area of Essex because he died for the cause. The cause was independence from religion, separation from the state, and definitely separation from the divine right of kings. And so, when the Bay Colony meets, there are three invited ministers to the meeting. One of them's Cotton, another one is Hook, I think. Who are in their 30s, late 30s. They're old men. And the third one is Roger Williams. So Roger Williams is selected to represent the richest caste of Puritan separatists in the country. And that explains the weight that he was carrying and being supported by through that whole period. In fact, he wanted to marry one of Joan's nieces. And she said, no, you're too poor. So he wrote two of the funniest and angriest letters you've ever read. Basically says, you're going to hell. You're going to hell because you want to be married Jane. Jane Wally goes on to marry, does marry a man named Hook. And, and in 1655, he becomes the chaplain for Oliver Cromwell, and, and, and her, her brothers are regicide. And so what you get here is the start of the English Revolution. And 
that's amazing for me. So he goes to this meeting and he basically, he can't handle the Bay Colony. I call it the Bay Colony, some people call it Massachusetts. Um, and then he gets, every time he has a traumatic moment in his life, he collapses and has an attack of depression. And, and he did that and the woman who brought him back to life was Mary Bernard. And that's all you're going to hear from any of the biographies you read. Except for the fact that she was Lady Masham's companion. Her father was Richard Bernard, who had written 31 pamphlets and was actually a pretty well-known minister at the time. He was a separatist at the beginning, and then as he got older, he became not a separatist. And he also wrote two actually well-printed books on being a tr tr jury member for witches. So he goes to uh, uh, Bay Colony. He, and they, they are so impressed with him, they say, you can be the captain. You can be the first minister of our colony. He goes, no. You guys aren't separatists. He's been offered the highest position in the colony, and he turns it down. Also, when he was in school, people say that he was refused admittance to the Church of England thing, but actually, we think he refused it. So he, he, he goes to uh, Plymouth, comes back to Salem, and finally, in October of uh, 34, 35, He's brought to trial and he's kicked out, he's banished. They say it's a nice time, you could wait through winter and then leave. And in January of 36, um, a platoon of British soldiers are on their way up to Salem to arrest him and take him to England. Where he would have died, where they would have cut his ears off, where they would have split his nose, where they would have bored his tongue, or worse. Now Governor Winthrop, who led the trial against them, sends him a note saying, hey, these guys are coming. So he leaves that day. Meanwhile, he's made very good friends with all the Indians. He's learned to read, read, read and speak the, the Indian language. And so they actually help him get through a walk from Salem to Rehoboth. And there he again gets sick and he's nursed back to health by an Indian we call Margaret. And there's a Margaret's Rock over there, which is a partial cave, right? And he was there for 14 weeks, the whole trip. And then when he came up, they walked around here and started to set up a, a village. And then they said, no, we own this, that he went that way. We, we talk about Roger for what he did, but we don't really talk too much about what he writes or wrote. Very few people quote him. Um, and this is very frustrating for me because his words are pretty amazing. A great rock upon which so many gallant ships miscarry that such persons, false prophets, heretics, were to be put to death in Israel, I shall, with God's assistance, remove, as also the fine silken covering of the image, that such persons ought to be put to death or banished to prevent the infected and seducing of others, I shall, with God's assisting, in the following course, pluck off. That means stop. He did not like the fact people were punished for not uh, having the right religion. And his famous, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, okay. what, what I'm trying to say is in this book, he's got a description of how to separate church and state, but he also has a long list of what state has to do. And again and again and again, those are the things that Cromwell includes in his constitution in 1550. 1655 and he repeats over and over again that the one connection we have is to God and Christ and love that after all the commandments the only commandment that matters is to love your neighbor as yourself and that is why our constitution today has things that like taking the word poor Roger was in England in 1643 he left his house to pick up wood from outside the city for the people who were poor inside the city William says that should never have happened. Then he goes the other way too and says, and also, all those things they picked up from the pagans have got to go too. No Christmas, no Easter, and what you, then finally, he's, he, in 1638, some 10 people from the Baptist church come down, kicked out, and they're told, okay, we'll form a church here. He stayed with them for a couple months. David thinks it was a couple of weeks. Term for a Christian who has no denomination.